Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap Saturdays. I hope you're all doing well. Yep, this is going to be probably the last, not the last, last. Yeah, I wish. There's still like 300 photos to go. <laughs> no, not 300, maybe 50. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm going to start with Christmas stuff moving forward. I think this is going to be November 25th. If I'm a good girl and I'm behaved, yes. And isn't this paper gorgeous? This is a Chamel paper uh, from, I actually stole it from my daughter. I gave, when we were doing Scrap Saturdays, I gave my daughter some uh, leftovers of my hip kit. And I think I gave her a hip kit, kit. <laughs> and she was sitting beside me, like I showed you guys. And as I was looking over at her, I was like, oh no. Why did I give you that paper? I had like that remorse of giving. I know I'm such a bad mom, but this is the truth. I wanted the paper back. <laughs> and so I got this paper back and another piece of paper that's coming up in another video. Unless it comes in after January because I told you I need like a change. I need to get into the Christmas mojo, right? I don't know, or maybe I'm completely, completely setting myself up for failure here and I'm just gonna continue with the hip kits. I have no idea, to be honest with you, because now all the Christmas parties are coming. Yeah, yeah, so I need to make time, I have to find time. But don't worry, we're up to date. This is November 25th, so I must've done something right, so don't worry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm using the leftover pieces of paper that I did for my uh, journaling pockets, which is the nice one there with all the like distressed typewriter written page on the back there. And to be quite honest, I didn't write anything on it yet. It's still blank. It's still right here in front of me. And I still have not had time to do that, which is a huge negative, but it's also a, an amazing learning curve for myself. Now I understand that I'm one of those on the spot type journalers. I need to like get it done while I'm scrapbooking. So like when I press pause and I move away and I break my flow and I do do my journaling, I'm very proud of myself. And I understand that that's a system that works for me. And the photograph that I'm um, scrapbooking today is stunning. It's gorgeous. Like I'm looking at it and I'm sad that I covered up so much of that top corner with the butterfly, but you know what? It is what it is. It's just a beautiful place that we kind of like came back to after having a beautiful picnic. And the people who live there, like our cousins who live there, they don't do this every day. I know you needed a pause there, right? What? They don't do this every day. First of all, they do kind of have a sort of quasi winter, right? Which would be equivalent to our like spring like weather, I believe, um, because it's like minus 15 today. And I don't want to hear anybody tell me when it hits like, you know, seven degrees or 10 degrees that it's cold when we live in the minuses and minus 17 or whatever it is, isn't that cold compared to when we hit the minus 20s and then like minus 40 with a wind chill. So believe me when I say living in, you know, Northern Ontario is freezing. Anyhow, so they don't do this every day. They don't do this during the summertime because they live there. They need to live. They need to work every day. And they're just like we are. They get tired. They come home and they want to sit on their couch and they want to watch me on YouTube. <laughs> no, that's okay. I was just kidding. But uh, yeah, no, they don't. And so on this day after our picnic, we wanted to go swimming because that's our biggest thing. Like if we go on a vacation, you know, I don't even want to apologize, but it's really nice. I'd love to visit you, but you're going to have to visit me somewhere in the water because I am one with nature. I love to swim. I love to be on the beach. I love to be near the ocean. And yeah, that's what you do on summer vacation, right? At least that's what we do. And so everybody got into the water. Everybody got into the water. And that's the story that I'm going to have to type up on that little tag in that journaling envelope because um the guy the furthest uh to the left 
um, Paul, he was like counting down, you know, that, that thing that you're not supposed to go swimming after you eat. So he was like, literally put a timer on his watch for two hours. And like at the two hour mark, when his watch went off, he took this amazing leap off of the rock to jump into the water with us. And it was so much fun. And it was such a beautiful day. And the ledge where we're sitting at, or sitting on, I should say, it's a ledge and it goes all the way around. It's like a little curvy cove, right? So it's a little secret pocket of water. It's still open ocean, but it's covered by those lava rocks. So any kind of tide and water barriers broken there. And the water seems to be a little bit warmer. We were trying to find warm warm spots as we were swimming and my son was walking along the ledge just looking at all of the creatures and all of the you know shell crabs that kind of live within there and I remember sitting on the sledge waiting for everyone to kind of swim up so we could take a group photo and this is again um, our friend Eduarda who was Paul's wife she's back on the other side on land and she's taking this picture of us and I remember sitting there and I remember feeling like the baby crabs pinching my thighs and I was like whoa this is aggressive. These guys are not used to people sitting on their houses. It's kind of like, excuse me, <laughs> you're sitting on me. But it was so nice. It was so nice to hear them speak so highly of how they had forgotten how much they loved to swim and what a beautiful spot and how many years it's been since they, you know, had swam there together. Some of them even before they were married and now they're married with, you know, adult children. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful memory. And I think I love that. I love that, you know, it's not just a vacation for us, as I had said before in another video, but visiting, visiting people in another country, it's a reminder of the beauty that surrounds them too. You know, it's time to just take a breath and say, you know, just let go and enjoy. And I, and I remember, you know, Lysia saying that, you know, this is the darkest she's been, you know, for many, many summers. And she lives on this beautiful tropical island, but she's such a hardworking person. So sometimes we think that we live in a country where, you know, we're too busy, but it's everywhere now. I don't think there's any place in the world that doesn't, you know, go with the hustle and bustle and and forget to take time and just enjoy yourself right and we're all we're all guilty of that so yeah I love the way this paper looks I think the last thing I'm going to say for this one is that I am so I'm, I'm getting excited with this watercolor type background paper I just came back from Michael's today and I also saw that they had a watercolor paper pad so I think I'm going to have to either buy watercolor paper and start practicing because I really am so attracted to this. I think it looks beautiful. I didn't use any thickers to create a title here, but with the word stickers, I put down beautiful with friends and yeah, make time, make time. First of all, make time for yourself. Absolutely. Look what I created with a whole bunch of leftover sticky frames and, you know, leftover paper. Make time for yourself with no guilt. Enjoy the beauty around you. Enjoy the beauty of your scrapbook room. Remind yourself why you have a craft space, why you buy all of these goodies, because it's beautiful, because it makes you feel good. Yeah, good vibes. That's what we need. We need more good vibes. Don't don't worry about the end result. Just get started. I promise it all flows together. These are so quick. I can't believe that like within, like if I left this without going two times speed, it literally took me 15 minutes to create this layout. And I was on a roll on that day, just on a roll. And I'm so glad I got to use the bathing suit to die cut too, because it was like no man's land. But it, right there, it somehow kind of grounds the whole page. Be inspired, my friends. Be inspired by a photograph with friends and family and a time where you reminded each other to have fun and to enjoy the beauty around you. Be inspired by what you see. Make time for yourself because you know, make time for this hobby. This hobby heals. And I'm so grateful for all your love and all your comments and everything, everything. Thank you so much to all of you. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if another one of the hip kits comes up or if it's time for Santa. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's time for Santa. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all very, very soon.